This is a 2017 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Van 2500 in black. It's a seven-speed automatic transmission with 161 horsepower diesel engine. It's known as the workhorse of commercial vehicles, and today, it's gonna drive itself. So all I do is just hit a button that's sitting on top of the wheel controller and take my foot off the gas and brake and let it go. You got the brake controller. Exmatic CEO and founder Nima Ashtari came up with Lane Cruise, a kit that turns any car made in the last 20 years into a semi-automated vehicle. I can also control how fast I want the car to go with just these two buttons on the steering wheel. It also slows down further. So I've slowed down, people are upset. Well, people are very aggressive, um, and the system is very conservative. So right now, if you, gra if you did grab the steering wheel and s tried to turn the car, the whole thing would shut down. Yeah, so if I just, there it is, and it's off. And so it's back to being a regular car. So that felt weird. That was, that was strange when you put it into that mode, and, the, yeah. and it started to sense everything around. It Exmatic started in 2015 and has some high-profile investors. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have Thank some you. fun with us. I yeah. know. Thanks. Since then, the company has gathered a million kilometers of data, and it's accumulating five to 10,000 more a month. All of it is filtered in real time to a brain center inside this home in North York. A lot of people have misconceptions around what startups do or what they should look like. Uh, maybe the neighboring house is not your traditional family of two with two kids and uh, two parents. Maybe it's a startup. The home base has 12 people updating the existing software, offering real-time support to drivers, and working on the next generation of Lane Crews. Exmatic is one of the few companies in the world offering an aftermarket kit, but it's not for your average driver. It can't change lanes and works best for professional driving long hours on the highway. At the job site, when I arrive, I'm going to be this much better at my job because I wasn't doing this super boring, put me to sleep job. Um, and that's really what automation is all about. It's about replacing the most mundane parts of our lives.